Okay, now let's list factors using another method. So on the left, top left, 6 eighteenths, this is the method I showed when I first introduced finding greatest common factor. So I'm going to show you two other ways and you pick whichever way is most comfortable for you. Another way is by just writing parentheses and just listing the factors. But you got to make sure you put them like this. It helps, but you could do like 1 times 6 and then work your way, in the way towards the middle. The only problem is, you know, if you don't leave enough room and you have end up having more factors than you thought and you don't have enough space, then it gets cramped. Some people, they don't want to put them on the outside and then the middle. They just list it. So 1 times 18 is 18. 2 times 9 is 18. 3 times 6 is 18. So some people like to do that too. And then they find the greatest common factor that way. So that's one way you could do it. Another way is called the rainbow method. You write 1 times 6 and you draw the rainbow to show they are connected. And then 2 times 3. 1 times 18. 2 times 9. 3 times 6. Again, the problem is it can get a little cramped. So you got to be careful about space. That's why I really like the T-chart method the best. So you have options. You can pick whichever one works for you.